Hello. Do you tend to have fear once in a while? I'm sure you must have experienced it. And if you are a person who tends to experience fear quite often, today I am going to share with you what is it that can help you to convert that fear into power. I have shared with you earlier also that every feeling that you experience comes with a message, comes with a lesson. And I was reading a book today and where I came to understand that if you are having fear about anything, you need to be happy about it. The reason is fear is giving you a message that you really, really want to do that thing. And that is why you are having the fear. Fear comes up in the form of resistance to take an action, but also giving a message that you really are interested in doing that thing. Otherwise, you wouldn't have felt the fear. Now, what is it that you can do to convert your fear into power? First thing that you can do is you do self-reflection. What do I mean by this is spend good time with yourself, be in your own company. And as you dig deeper, you will be able to understand what really is the message that your fear is giving you. And many times you reach to a point, fear is not about taking an action. Fear may be about what will the world say or fear may be about seeking approval from others. If you go wrong, what will people say? Will they approve of you? Will they see still stay connected with you and so on? That is the fear, not of doing an action, right? So understand this. Do a lot of self-reflection and you'll be able to get in touch with what really is causing that fear. Next thing that you can do is learn more about what you are afraid of. Whatever you are afraid of, as you expand your learning in that specific area, obviously one aspect of uh, putting that into practice will be taken care of and that is knowledge. Obviously, any fear is an indication that it is stopping you from taking an action. And only when you take an action, that fear will ultimately disappear. But if you have more knowledge about how to actually go about it, then perhaps your confidence of actual taking the action will go up. For example, if you are afraid of uh, uh, bungee jumping, if you are afraid of paragliding, any of such things, I'm talking about adventure sports. If you go and study about all these things, watch certain videos and notice how the process goes, perhaps one aspect that will be taken care of is that you will remain safe. And once that is taken care of, perhaps you will be encouraged to take an action. Learn more about what you are afraid of. Third important thing that comes here is weigh options. What if? Ask yourself this question. What if? What if this goes wrong? What if that happens? What if it happens like this? And more you ask this question, the more you will have possibilities in front of you and more you have possibilities in front of you, perhaps you can address some of the things in advance. You can take proactive steps so that uh, pitfalls are avoided, right? So weigh options. Next one is very important, live in the present moment. Live in the present moment. Why we have fear many times is because we want to experience control of, total control of the situation. And ask, it, ask yourself and in the larger context of things, do you ever have control on anything? Perhaps not. You will realize that you do not have control on anything. So that is why you must learn to live in the present moment and at times leave the control. Go into the flow, let things happen. And that is when you will realize your fears are many times unfounded. Next one is, I mentioned about it a little earlier also, take action. Take action. The more action you take, the less fear you will experience. So understand that the antidote to fear is action only. 
if you are afraid of swimming your fear of swimming will not go unless you get into the pool and learn it if you are afraid of speaking in public you will continue to experience that fear till the time you come and stand in front of the audience so take an action that's when your fear will start disappearing and let me also say this here some bit of fear is always good because it helps you to make better preparation it also helps you to take care of uh, the precautions that need to be taken when some actions are going to be extreme and the last thing that i would like to suggest here is celebrate learn to celebrate and one of the things that you can practice here is start writing your success journal on a day to day basis you are doing so many things you have achieved many things over a period of time and that's how you have come up to this stage in your life and that needs to be celebrated and when you start writing your success journal you will notice how many fears you actually had and you have slowly and steadily overcome them and that will continue to boost your confidence if you could do it at some earlier point something different so perhaps now you can experiment with something absolutely new so this is how you start converting your fear into power i'm closing with the same message that your fear is nothing else but giving you a message that you need to learn something you need to take action and that is how you will be able to convert your fear into power i'll keep sharing more insights as i go along stay tuned and i wish you all the best